The fact that you are 37 and you are not yet married does not mean you are ugly. Does not mean you don't have character. Does not mean that God has forgotten you. No. The fact that you got married and you don't have a child yet does not mean that you are the chiefest of sinners because you are aborted before you got born again. God does not consult your past to determine your future. Sometimes the rich also cry. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. So stop judging yourself and feeling bad that, oh, something must be wrong with me. That's why all my mates are married and I'm not. No. Nothing is wrong with you. Delete that from your mind. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. And God comes late when he wants to come big. He's coming. The reason why you don't have a car yet is because they are still fixing the headlamp. Don't marry a married man because you think you've waited for too long. Don't go and be the third wife in one Alhaji's house as a child of God. Don't break another woman's marriage because you think I must have sex and I must have a baby. Life is not governed by miracles. Life is governed by principles. If you don't sow it, you will not reap it. Genesis 8.22 Stay where God has planted you. There are some of you, you move from church to church. 52 weeks, 52 Sundays in the year, you are in 52 churches. A rolling stone gathers no moss. Stop gallifanting around. There is no perfect church. If you find one, don't join it because you will make it imperfect. There is no perfect pastor anywhere. No! Hebrews chapter 5 tells us from verse number 1. When you get to verse 4, no man take this honor to himself. Even the best of pastors is still human. He's still human. He left. And that's why if you are married here, listen to me and listen very carefully. You must constantly pray for your husband. Because when a man takes his place, his wife falls into place. But when a man misses it, he doesn't only suffer, his wife suffers, his children suffer. Genesis chapter 5 and verse number 2. That is the basis for Mr. and Mrs. Genesis chapter 5 verse 2. He created them male and female and called their name Adam. That's why I am Mrs. Adejumo. That's the biblical standard. For, that's the biblical foundation for it. Called their name Adam. That's why your husband doesn't bear your name. That's why you bear his name. Called their name Adam. Called their name Adam. So, you follow where your husband goes. Now, let me say this. It's, it's funny, but it's the truth. If you search the scriptures and you read the entire Genesis, when man sinned via the woman, and God brought judgment. There is no single verse that tells us that God drove out the woman from the garden of Eden. And the Lord drove the man. The angel of the Lord drove the man. The woman only followed. <laughs> we followed. God didn't drive us. That's why you hear something like, they've transferred my husband to Kenya. I'm also going. That's how we keep following. Following and following and following. <laughs> 